Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, something sad happened, right? Our trails that you've seen in the last two videos of, they're made of sand, really. They're not, there's not much dirt in them. So being sand naturally, some kids have found out about it. They've gone there, they've ridden over it like crazy and the trails have just been destroyed. The berms have been flattened. The jumps have been obliterated. So in today's mission, we're gonna set out and find a place that we can build some new trails that are just proper dirt, no sand, and that no one's probably gonna find out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So we'll make our way over to the presumed location of where we're going to build some jumps and trails. So we're heading there right now. The good thing about this is that it's only a short ride, whereas the other trails I'd have to ride 20 k's each way just to get there. Coming into the location now. Bit of a hill bomb, make sure you take note of the forest on your left, because that's where the plan is to build. Anyway, hill bomb! Woo! That was nice. And it's just like that, we are into the forest. Okay, so this is my first time rocking up and how I get welcome was the cobwebs straight away. That's sick. Anyway, we'll go around the cobwebs this time. So as I was saying, this is my first time. I'm seeing it all new with you. Look at this. This is insane. Oh my God. Yeah, definitely trail from right here. Look like, I swear that was just a wasp. Oh. Oh, I see some rocks through there. Butterfly. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. It's going to be some real techie goodness. Oh, yes, this is going to be really technical. Great riding. Okay, so this spot, I'd have to say, would definitely have to be the bottom of the run because as you saw there, the forest, as I came down that big hill along my left, is this forest. So there's going to be, I can't see it through here, it's just pretty thick with trees and all that. But up there, massive hill, that's going to be sick for riding on. So let's go up and see if we can find roughly where the hill starts. Here's a little trick for you, if you're ever in the forest with cobwebs. Get a stick and just smack it down in front of you and it will take any away because you don't want cobwebs in your face, do you? Okay, so we've run into a little bit of a roadblock. We um, came through up there. You can see the rocks just over there. But up here, wait, I can't clear that with my hands. I need to come in with like a machete or something or a saw. That's when we're really going to be able to clear it out. But you can see over there, starts to rise you can see those big trees so that's where the hill basically starts but already i can tell yeah this is technical riding like just rocks here rocks there like it's gonna be real fun and yes we probably will build a jump trail but before we get into building up there we need to be able to build down here so we have like a supply road or an entrance to up there to build properly. What I'm gonna do now as I'm making my way back through to my bike and to the rocks is I'm just gonna build sort of, I'm just gonna clear out the sort of area. So like, I mean, 
I will remember all of this anyway. Like, it's amazing. I, I can't forget it. But I think down there is going to be our, like, just where all the trails end. So I think they'll all converge over, like, this techie part right here. And then I'll just drop down there and then meet over there. One thing that we stuffed up on majorly on the last two videos of trail building is the type of dirt. Now, I would still be building there and the trails would not be destroyed if they weren't sandy, right? But yes, don't get me wrong, they had dirt in it, but it was really sandy. Right here, we ain't making that mistake again. So have a look right here, nice brown dirt, right? So no more mistakes like that and I can tell here there's no signs of anyone being here for ages, right? The only sign would be that. I don't even know what that is. So, um, pretty remote, but the houses, the cool thing about this is I've seen this place on Google Maps. It goes on for kilometers, right? And like miles. So up there, just through there, see that like big palm tree sort of tree over there? It's, the houses are just through there. So we've only scratched, we haven't even, we haven't even made a dent in the surface. We haven't scratched anything, but about how far this can go. So it's gonna be interesting to see, and this is probably gonna be a major project that we're gonna need a lot of hands and a lot of labor work. But in the end, I reckon with all this space and all the possibilities, this area is going to have some really sick riding potential. Okay, so I'm standing where I said I want all the trails to finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear out quite a bit of this and just sort of make an impact and yeah, we'll get straight into it now. Okay guys, so We've cleared out this little bit. I'm pretty happy with it without even using a brake. But at the moment, we're getting attacked by mozzies. So next time I come down here, definitely need to bring some mosquito repellent. Um, so yeah, we've got a place for the trails to end. Not finished yet, but we've got a great starting place. It's amazing how much many options we have through here. So yeah, this is probably going to be a big project. It's going to take years and years but that's the fun in it so we're gonna leave it now make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video Until something better came along